Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners in Python by showing you how you can change the markers in Matplotlib, which is a really cool feature, and it's something I thought I'd tell you about early on in the tutorial series because it's really fun to play around with. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are picking up where we left off in the previous video where we were talking about the default X and Y axis. So again, to you know not interfere with anything that I'm doing, I'm just going to comment out what we did in the previous video. So no plots, you know, pop up in this video. So now I'm going to be showing you markers in Python. In matplotlib. Put it in capitals because it's really cool. So let's say we have, so I'm going to create some new arrays. We're going to have np.array. I think we'll just have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's let y equal the array. And let's have, oh, let's go 20, 30, 50, 100, something like that. Okay, cool. So we've got these arrays and we can plot these. So as usual, we'll say plt.plot. We'll say x first, then y, because that's the x axis, then the y axis. And in here, this is where you include your markers. So the way that you do that is you will go marker and make it equal to O. So what's, so what's worth... So what's worth mentioning is there are a whole range of markers. I'll put an image on the screen now of all the different ones you can try out. You have oh, diamonds, squares, circles, you know, ovals, a whole range of different markers. So it's worth, you know, playing around. I'll show you a couple of them today uh, and then, you know, you can, and then I'll leave it to you to have a little play around with all the ones that are. So, okay, we've got plt.plot. We've got the marker is O, so that means it's going to be a circle. That means it's going to be a circle. We're going to say plt.show. And I'm just going to run this. So let's see what happens. Ah, I have made a mistake. I've not put an extra argument in here. Remember that from my previous video. You need to make sure that these, the size of this matches with the size of this. I know that that's wrong because it's told me that x and y must have the same first dimension. Okay, I've amended that. We'll run it now and hopefully... There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of, I'm just going to put plt.plot, just x and y, ordinarily. We'll just comment this out and I'll show you what it will produce to begin with, without the marker. So this is what it produces to begin with, without the marker. So just straight lines. Now if I was to put that back in and just remove this, and we stop the Python file and we run, notice we have these little circles in here. Amazing. So this is how you add markers and it's a very nice way of showing where your different points are. You know, here we've got a huge gap, but it could be that you could have something, you know, you could have one here and just not be able to see it. That's what's really handy with markers because it allows you to definitely see where your points are on your screen. Really, really cool. So let's try another one. Let's do S, I think. Let's do star. We'll stop this and run. Let's see what star does. Cool, it does a star. So something worth mentioning with matplotlib. So in matplotlib you get these little tools down here and I'll explain what they mean in the next video. Essentially you can zoom, this is what a zoom is, and you can just go to the bit that you want to zoom into. Perfect, look at that. So now I can keep zooming, keep zooming, and the star's there. And if you go back, it'll take you back to the original plot. Awesome. And I will be showing you how to change the marker size later on in this tutorial series. Awesome, so we've got a star, let's try to do, I think D is diamond. If I remember from my data analysis <laughs> days, let's have a look. Diamond, awesome, there you go. And then similarly, I think S is a square. Let's go with that. Awesome, square, there you go. So that's how you change your marker in your plot. Very, very cool, very handy. And it makes your data analysis skills and your visual you know, plots a lot nicer when you start you know, playing around with markers and colours. So that's been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support this channel even further, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. And also check out the donation page that is in my description box. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And comment any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.